Hello, I'm Josh Harmon, and this will be a quick run through on how to develop color negative film C41 process. And for those of you who don't, aren't too familiar with it, it's sort of the film. It's uh, C41 process color negative film, which is the standard uh, consumer film. And, um, and it's very easy. Most people think it's extremely difficult to develop color film or kind of shied away from it because they think, oh, we have to go to a lab to develop it. But really, it's pretty easy. But it's, easy. it's almost easier in black and white in some aspects. So, let's get to it. Alright, so I'm going to run through some things you're going to need to develop your color negative film. First and foremost, you're going to need a kit. It's the Unicolor press kit. And it comes with, uh, I bought the one liter kit as well. And it comes with everything you need. Uh, it comes with the developer, the Blix, and the stabilizer. Now, I've already mixed them. It comes in powders. And they're very easy to develop, so, I mean, to, very easy to mix. So I had to mix them all together about 10 minutes. Another thing you're going to need is a tub and a source of water. And as you can see, I have the bo three bottles right now, and they're sitting in a tub of water. The reason for that is because the chemicals have to be at 102 degrees, degrees, excuse me, 102 degrees Fahrenheit to be able to process the film. And it's really easy to get that as good. And before we start, I have this also have a funnel, because you're going to need one of these too, but I also have this sort of, you know, water pitcher, jug, lemonade thingy. And this is really great because um, during the process you're going to have to um, either, uh, you're going to wash your film at one point, so you want to have some water that's also at 102 degrees Fahrenheit, so you can wash it without, you know, using cold water, which is good. And before we start, I'm going to grab my thermometer, which you also need, and I'm going to measure the temperature of the water bath. 95, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it so it's back to the right temperature, so pour the water out there. Right now, I turn it to the hottest setting, so this is like really hot, about 150 degrees, and I don't care, I just want to fill up um, about as much as I took out. Give it a second, so fill that up. Back here, and I'm just going to pour this back in, All right next to the other guys. Now that I have that done, let's put this back capture now. I'm not super technical. If it's within, you know, plus or minus two degrees, I'm fairly happy. Here we go, right here, 103 degrees. 104, 104 degrees. So I'm gonna let these guys probably they probably dropped a few temperatures. I'm gonna let them sit for a while. And when I do that, I'm gonna grab my two rolls of film I feel like developing. So I gotta see, choose a black cap one extra. Your do all, you know, save all, uh, classic film. As in, a, and, and this also works for any C41 film. For example. Yesterday I um, developed five rolls of uh, 120 size Kodak Ektar. I highly recommend that film. Very fine grain, very great color, and it scans really easy. So I'm going to grab my reel and I'm going to load it up. Now I'm in 100 degrees on the nose. So there we go. Now I'm going to put this here and I'm going to get this full of 100 degree water. Now I've become fairly good. I'm measuring the proper temperature by hand, and I guess, so I've got plenty of water here, and to see how awesome I am at guessing the temperature, I am going to test my skills. Wow, oh, about 101. Pretty good by hand, so pop the lid on, and the first step of the C41 color developing film process is the pre-wash. Now, I'm kind of, I've done this before, I've used the Unicolor powdered kit, which is what I'm using now. It's about $18 for the one liter. But I've also used the Rolly Digibase kit, which comes as concentrates and has, and has a, instead of Blix, which is a conjunction of the words bleach and fix, it has a separate bleach and a separate fix. And you can see I've crossed out the label because I used a different kit. And each structure and the instructions from each differ. The instructions I'm kind of following today are the ones for the Unicolor kit. And it calls for a minute and a half pre wash. And I like two minutes, three minutes better. It's just my personal taste, so I'm gonna do that. So I got my nice warm water, and I'm just gonna pour. And excuse me, before I start the timer, so minus about 10 seconds off there. And once again, I'm just spinning a little stir stick in here, and I do it fairly for about the first 30 seconds or so. I'm gonna count the 10 seconds I did that, so it's actually the first 20 seconds of this. So basically, the goal is to get all the air bubbles out in this first initial agitation. I think everything's all good. Once I've done that, pick up my tank and set her in the water. 
my two minutes or so has passed. Now, here's a, one, of my favorite, one of my funner parts of developing color film is, well, some black and white film is too. Make sure, okay, so I have the tank here, the pre-washer still in here, I'm gonna pour it out. And you get a lovely pink color. And depending on the film you use, you get different colors for the pre-wash, so. That's always fun. So I'm gonna make sure all the water's out of there. So, tank is now empty. It's been pre-washed, so the film is at the correct temperature. Grab my C41 developer, make sure you have your mixed date. I'd, I mixed this yesterday, so it should be good still. And a developer here, tank here. So unscrew the lid, put the lid down, and make sure I have a time where I'm using a awesome wristwatch. And I'm gonna start the watch and pour the developer in. Now, okay, cool. So now I have the developer in, I'm gonna do the little spinny agitation until 30 seconds, and put it back in the water bath, put my little doodly thing here. And while it's sitting there, I'm going to move it closer to the position there and put a funnel in. Now, this developer, C41 developer, I'm actually timing it now. It's three minutes and, oh, for, for the, remember, this is different, so this is important. For the Unicolor powder kit, for any film, the developer is three and a half minutes. That's any kit. I mean, excuse me, any developer. Now, usually for, if you're using Kodak FlexColor chemicals, or if you're using the Rolly Digibase kit, it's 3 minutes 15 seconds. So be careful of the difference. And pouring out. And so now what I'm doing now, since I poured it out there, it's a step that isn't in the instructions, but I believe is fine. I have my warm water, and I'm just gonna do a one rinse, because I never believe you should go from one chemical to another. I find it bad. Pull the blicks out, stop the timer for that, reset the timer. Take off the cap of the Blix, which is super tight because it's full to the very brim. The thing about the Blix is it's a dark red, looks like iodine. You know, don't get it on your hands, skin, smells lovely. Um, so, okay, the Blix, six and a half minutes. And this is, once again, just for the Unicolor kit because other kits are different. So, start timer and Blix. Once again, timer's going, I'm gonna agitate it for, you know, until 30 seconds, which is like now. Time to pour out. Oh, it's a lovely color. It's this dark brown red. And if you sniff it, which you shouldn't, don't, it'll smell lovely. So I have the sink. Once again, you find my lovely 100 degree water. So what I'm gonna do now, which is I'm following the instructions again, is watch it. I just wanna do a quick, you know, shake, pour. Or now here's the fun part. Big open up to the light. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shake out the lid, put it out to dry, and now I'm gonna do is make sure it's the right temperature, I'm gonna fill it up, and well now you're supposed to wash it for three minutes and I don't like wasting water, you know I manage to do it all the time. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I just wanna fill it full of water, as you can see right here, or right there, that's a little better. And I'm gonna change the water once a minute for three minutes. And I find it works really well. Ignore the foam. And cool. I, it's done washing. So, got this. Pull out my stabilizer. And I'm pour a stabilizer in. This needs to be on for one minute. My timer's still going, so okay. And what this, what this does is, from the best of my knowledge, this uh, ensures dye stability over time. And because color film is made up of just dyes, it um, yeah ensures it's stable over time. Put the funnel. So now, pour it in here. Take off the reel. Um, I do a quick finger squeegee. I don't know if that's recommended, but I do that. And I hang it to dry. Uh, cut, view, put in view walls or print files or sleeve it. And I scan it. So, in essence, that's how I develop color C41 negative film at home using a unit color kit and the same principles apply to any other um, home based C41 kit. So uh, thank you for watching, I'm Josh Harmon, if you have any questions at all go to apug.org which is the analog photography user group, they'll have answers. Any question you have about analog photography, they're good there. So uh, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.